very big up front this Duke team. Ben Carroll looks so comfortable under those bright lights in the garden didn't he as Williams rolls inside and it rolls in. Picked off. And this guy has been a star in the second half The slam by Roach. Is set to check back in at the scorer's table. Mark Williams joins him. Stacic runs into Keels, who had half a dozen steals the other day. Here's Roach the other way, who catches it in and one. Defense to get themselves going and get some easy stuff. Because they have struggled in the early going against that Campbell half-court defense. The lead is down to three for Campbell. Another turnover. Roach up and under. The block shot, and they've down the court so fast. And another turnover. This will be what faster. And they haven't done that. They're one for 11 from behind the arc. Another one. Mark Williams. He's in double figures. Yeah, you really got to be careful. Williams, 12 points to go along with 14 rebounds. Look out! That's how loud it gets in here. And, you know, this is the atmosphere that you come to college to play for. And certainly having the fans back is a huge advantage for Duke. Step back three, Jeremy Roach, and that rattles home for the sophomore. That's a set play. Duke, poor communication. They're able to get the lob slam. Feed to Williams inside, and he flushes it home. Mark Williams. Knock off Tubby Smith and High Point. And right now, playing, of course, against the best competition in the country here at Cameron Indoor. Oh, tough shot here by Baker, jumping in the lane after the turnover. To make it 4-0 as we check out the Duke starting five. And they get on the board quickly out of the corner. A good sign early. Trevor Keels, who really got it going the other night. Roach with a kick. Van Caro's open. Yes, nothing but net on a triple. Very good. Monster on the block. One of my favorite players in the league. Williams, nice feed to Roach. Since the uh, two-week break, as we take another look at the Williams feed to Roach. For Jeremy Roach. Roach trying to penetrate heavy traffic and a foul. Tough play, and he's at the line for a three point play. Averaging close to eight over their last six games and shooting great from the field. Now 19 for 31 over those past six. There's a lob and a catch and flush from Williams. High percentage look. Now, I Here like this Griffin. Khalid more. I like this Khalid more. I like him being aggressive, recognizing that Duke is going to pay a lot of attention as Jeremy Roach gets the and one opportunity. It's a prerequisite to flex. I would definitely flex. And I like Jeremy Roach attacking the basket as well. Second chance opportunity getting on the offensive glass. Inside the Williams. There's your answer. Uh, Wake Forest only seven, so Duke's done a nice job taking care of the ball and then capitalizing off of three and turnovers. And one opportunity again, Wendell Moore Jr. Inside all night long. Great patience, unselfish play. Rebounds, assists, and steals. And he's got three rebounds already today. Running the floor is Williams. An easy flush. And Duke gets a couple of sighs. Their percentage of scoring goes up. Broach a terrific find for Mark Williams. Into the rim. And then the dunk by Williams. Between the Cardinals and Rams coming up on Monday. UFC 270. Saturday the 22nd. Van Carroll hangs from the rim. Because of their energy and consistency. Well, you like the fact that they're all fighting over the belt on this one. 
Jeremy Roach, who is now coming off the bench with A.J. Griffin in the starting lineup. And this would be a huge one for the Seminoles if they can get it. They would move to 5-2 and two in league play. Nice reverse by Jeremy Roach. They're in the, the 220s nationally in terms of defensive efficiency. Roach, no look pass into Williams, and he'll finish. What a start for Duke. Around the outside of the zone at the moment. Now Williams and Edwards on his back, and they're going to talk about whether they're going to count it. I it haven't seen a signal yet. It should count, yeah. Alamir Dawes misses Williams, cleans it away from the Blue Devils. Here goes Roach. Then count. Clemson in this building. Haven't won since 1995. Dribbled it off his foot. Now Roach finds an open lane and slams it home. That's Jeremy's first field goal, and it has the crazies a lot. Hoping to push this to a more comfortable margin. P.J. Hall out top is being used as a pressure release. Rattles out on Hunter Bank. Bullet pass from pass. Roach to John. What a pass. Roach. Seven on the shot clock. He will drive it. Gets it up. Wendell Moore hangs from the rim. One thing Notre Dame does not do much of at all is get on the offensive glass. It's got to go in the first half of the Irish. Roach a nice kick. Bang Carroll for three. And Duke on top. Fabulous finish. And Ricky Bellack is one of the seniors for the Tar Heels. We didn't have another year if things worked out. He chose so. Jeremy Roach with the answer. Gardner and Francisco Cafaro making out the starting lineup and four quick points getting things started for Franklin and Mark Williams with the finish. This lead a great job with the trap off the screen and roll action. But when you look at Mark Williams at 7-1, no one in the painted area. You see Jaden Gardner hugged up to Paolo Ben. Turnover for the Cavaliers, under nine and a half to go. Mark Williams has returned. He's playing with four fouls, and Big Mark now has 14 points. John spinning, bothered by the length of Hall. Offensive board, Jones. Well, really, he just collected a miss. And a beautiful finish in traffic there from Roach as he hits the deck. Roach to the rim, high off the glass. Here's Williams in the paint. See, makes him give it up. Good job closing up that space. High hand off and the baptism from Mark Williams. The rim for Williams. How about this one? Too easy for Duke. And they have done an excellent job of their defense, keeping Alondis Williams from being able to get downhill. And the answer from Jeremy Roach to stop the bleeding. Roach locks one inside. Williams able to finish. I thought that was going out of bounds. Roach picks up his dribble. Hands one inside to Ben Carroll. And he does all the work before the ball gets in there. Shot clock's down to five. Roach lays it in. A strong night continues for Jeremy Roach. And company here at JPJ. Jeremy Roach having himself a night for the Blue Devils. Who's sitting a lot in his first year. Gonzaga has a couple of guys who fit that bill as well. Way downtown. And on the money is Roach. And I believe that is going to be a career high for Trevor Kills. The 27, he's had multiple 25-point games. But 27 is going to be a career high. And I don't think he's going to be slowing down as Joey Baker throws another three in the mix for the Blue Devils. Boy, and Johnson giving up a lot of size in the matchup with Theo John. Johnson goes flying. Roach goes driving, and he finishes. Baycott getting ready to check in, but the media timeout will hit first. Roach left hand, soft off the glass. Second shot, and then the left-handed drive. Not playing around with it, just a straight line drive to get to the back. Jimmy Beheim, before today, had never made five threes in a game for Cornell or Syracuse as they go over the top to Williams. Six seconds and a half. Roach. Oh, somehow that got over the rim and in. How did that go in? I don't know. That looked like it defied physics a little bit. He goes right into Joseph. 
had the angle, took a bump. Wow, that's amazing. And now Roach will slow it down. Not for long, though. He kind of lulled everybody to sleep, didn't he? Dribble handoff. He saw an opening. Cupped it and took it all the way to the rim. J. Jeremy Roach is into the game. Mark Williams is out. So Mike Krzyzewski has already downsized his lineup here against the Hokies. And Roach makes it pay off right away. What a tournament he's had. Duke by two just past the midway point of the first half. Roach flies into the bucket.